Hi, scientists. Miss Bobby here. Today we're going to be doing an experiment to try to figure out what's the best shape for a column for a building. We're going to be using paper. And we're going to make the paper into three different shapes. We're going to make a square shape, a triangle shape, and a round shape. Now, that's the question. The question is, how strong is a piece of paper in each of these shapes? The test, that's what we're gonna be doing next. And then we're going to write the report. So, we know what the question is. The question is, what is the strongest shape for a piece of paper to hold up books? And my hypothesis is, I think all the shapes are gonna be the same. So let's do the test. I have three pieces of colored paper. This is the same kind of paper that Ms. Diebel or the other teachers would use in their classroom. They're going to be cut to equal size. I have several books over there, you can see. And then I have tape that I'm gonna to use to put the pieces of the paper together in different shapes. I'm gonna be using three shapes today. I'm gonna to be using a square. I'm gonna make it out of the black. I'm gonna make a triangle shape out of the blue, and then I'm gonna make a circular shape out of the yellow. So remember our hypothesis? Our hypothesis was that all of the pieces of paper would act the same way. All of the shapes would act the same way. So let's test that hypothesis. We'll do one shape at a time, and we'll see how many books the shape can hold up. Let's go ahead and do our test. Okay, scientists, so my next step was to fold the each of the pieces of paper into a specific shape. I folded the black paper into a square shape. I folded the blue paper into a triangular shape and I folded the yellow paper into a circular shape. I measured the width of each of the spaces starting with the square. I noticed that it was about three inches across. I measured the space for the triangle. I noticed it was about three inches across. But when I measured the circle, that I made from the original piece of paper, it was larger than three inches. So I didn't think it was fair. So I made sure that when I made the circle, it was also just about three inches across. Here we go, scientists. I'm going to try to test the square first. One book. Two books, three books. Oh no, it collapsed. All right, scientists, let's try the triangle. One book. I'm trying to balance it. One book. One and a half books, two, let's call it two books. 
Okay, scientists, let's try the circular shape. One book. Two books. Three books. Four books. Ooh. Five books. Oh my gosh. Six books. Fantastic. Looks like the circle won that contest. All right, scientists, we finished our test. There's one more thing that engineers do. Whenever there's a failure, you wanna try again. So let's look at the different shapes and figure out where did they fail? You can see in the square, there's a bend right here. It was folded along this line, but it failed here in the middle. Look at the triangle. Same thing. It didn't fail here on the edge where it was connected. It failed along one of the edges. So that's where it bent and failed. And last but not least, look at our circle. See where the circle failed? It actually failed along my seam. Not too surprising, since I was just using tape to hold the two, the two edges of the circle together. So take a look here, scientists. You can see where the square column failed. See that dent? That's where too much weight put pressure on that little part, and it just cracked. So let's take a very close look at what happened to the triangle column. You can tell that it bent also. It's so interesting. I might have expected that one to be strong. And here, let's take a look at what happened to our circle column. With six books, it was clearly the winner. It was able to hold almost two times as much weight as any of the other shapes. So, but it still did collapse. All right, scientists, we have to write the results. Question test report. So, which shape of column held the most weight? The square, the triangle, or the circle? Was your hypothesis correct? Mine wasn't. I thought all the shapes would be the same. But clearly, a circle shape for a column is the best. So now we know the circle column can hold more weight than the square or the triangle because the weight of the books and the force of gravity pulling on them is spread out all around the edges of the circle. In both the square and the triangle shapes, the weight and the force of gravity pushes down and causes them to fail. And what do we know? Other engineers who lived a long, long time ago discovered how the circular shape for walls and the circular shape for columns was the best thing to do. Here are some pictures to prove that. The Colosseum in Rome, Italy was built in the year 70. That means that structure is more than 1,950 years old. Look at the center picture. That's a picture of the Washington Capitol of the United States. That building was built in 1793. That means the structure is more than 227 years old. Amazing! Now, look at the building from Sacramento, California. Do you recognize the Capitol building of California? Look, there are columns, round columns, holding up 
the roof, and the dome. Engineers learned how important it was for using circular columns to hold up heavy roofs and walls. So, what do scientists and engineers do when their hypotheses are not correct? They try the experiment again. They try to figure out why their hypothesis wasn't correct. They use information to alter their hypothesis or change it. Or they change some part of the test. I bet scientists do all of the above. All right, scientists, you need to write your report now. So which shape of column held the most number of books? Which was the strongest? Do you know why it was the strongest? Don't forget to write your report. This is Miss Bobby saying goodbye for now. It was fun to work with you to find out how strong is a piece of paper. See you next time.